morning and welcome to the Stalls TV Morning Show. I'm Courtney. And I'm Josh. And today we have an exciting episode all about blank apparel wholesalers and where you can source different types of garments. We appreciate you tuning in today and thanks for the response to the poll question. We'll get to those results here shortly. But first, both of us this weekend went to ISS Orlando, right. uh, which is a trade show in Florida that we go to every year. And, and this year, we had a couple different classes. Do you want to talk to our viewers a little bit about the classes you delivered and some of the trends you saw there? Yeah, so the ISS show is the imprinted sportswear show. So we cover classes traditionally on um, printing spiritwear, sportswear, custom apparel. And a lot of the trends we were seeing were really geared towards people wanting to print um, a couple of different fads. Performance wear, of course, was the highest, so people wanting to learn how to print that. Um, so we'll talk today about where to source those types of garments. Mm -hmm. And then we also talked a lot about spirit wear. So the oversized jersey is still really popular, so a lot of people were looking at new trends there. Good, yeah, and we're seeing more and more of the oversized jersey. And it was funny, I got to sit in one of your uh, classes that we kind of uh, collaborated on up front, and we asked the question, what are you selling these oversized jerseys for? And we had one guy that stood up in the classroom and said he has sold 500 of them at $55, talking profits of at least $30 per print. Right. So uh, tremendous profit opportunity in not only the decoration type that you offer, but what type of blank apparel that you offer. Decorated apparel helps to drive the sales. So let's talk a little bit about different blank apparel wholesalers. We want to value your time. So blank apparel. It's important to a decorated apparel business, isn't bit. it? Yeah, right? it you is. might need to have that. So today we're going to step through sort of where to source certain type of items, talk about different, I guess, categories of apparel. Um, the goal is not really to get specific on this is the cheapest place or this is the closest place to you because that's right. going to vary depending on everybody's situation. But the goal is to give our viewing audience an idea of here are some of the leaders out there in the specific categories and where they do well. And I think you know one of the, the first places to look at is sort of that all-purpose overarching core right. supplier for an apparel decorator. So who are those big suppliers out there in the industry? Yeah, so I think first we're going to look at the people that um, have multiple locations that distribute a wide range of products. Sanmar is one of the, the large names um, in that category. They cover a lot of uh, t-shirts, performance wear, outerwear, headwear. They cover um, you know, everything when it comes to blanks. Um, they have a lot of locations around the country so you can get products very fast and also if you're worried about a color or a size being out, they have a, a pretty large inventory that you can choose from. Um, when it comes to looking for blank suppliers there. Yeah, and we're, we're peeking in on Sanmar's website right now where you can see, uh, well, all of those categories along the left-hand navigation. And in addition, as you're looking for your core supplier, definitely location's a big thing, but also resources. So a lot of these larger suppliers invest money in providing uh, marketing resources, extra photography that mm -hmm. you can download and use on your website or when creating sales brochures. So, um, you know, Sanmar's definitely a great company. It's who we source for, from a ton when right. we're um, sourcing stuff for Stalls TV. Uh, but there's more than that. Some other um, th people to compare would be uh, a company like Bodick and Rhodes or um, Alpha Broder uh, or two other sort of national supply houses that are available. And I want to dive in um, and show these websites real quick. So Alpha Broder we'll take a look at first. Um, and all of this you'd be able to look at on the Stalls TV blog after today's session. We're going to document all of these links and sites for you. So Alpha Broder, you can see t-shirts, fleets, sports shirts, woven shirts, a huge selection, and Bodick and Rhodes, uh, much in the same. We're there kind of collecting all of these smaller brands right. and distributing those in their warehouses and making them available uh, to decorators. So those are three big ones. So what do we sort of dive in next when we're looking at categories and subcategories of these? So that covers a lot of the basics when it comes to printing and your t-shirts and your everyday wear. But I think one special thing, of course, is sportswear and spirit wear. Mm -hmm. and a lot of people seemed interested in that in the poll um, before the show started. So when it comes to sports and spirit wear, where do you think, um, what's one of the top places that you think for sourcing jerseys, team uniforms? Yeah, so I definitely, um, sports and spirit kind of go hand in hand, but team uniforms is sort of a subsection of its own. And, you know, the one I'm most familiar with is Teamwork Athletic. Um, Teamwork Athletic is a company that's been around for some time and they have jerseys not only for uh, the core sports but for some of those niche sports as well. So it's a good sort of single stop location uh, to get team uniforms. They have uh, a pretty wide selection of styles, colors, sizes, um, and I know you order a lot of stuff from Teamwork for the seminars that I you do, deliver. Yeah. 
and quality seems to be right on. It does, yeah. They're easy to print, easy to decorate, and they're starting to expand a lot more into the full all-over sublimation. So as you're mm. starting to look for some of the unique trends um, in team apparel, um, all-over sublimation is something they offer. There's some other suppliers that offer that as well. Um, Game Gear is one of them, Allison Athletic, which is um, A-L-L-E-S-O-N. So as you're starting to look for more trendy team uniforms aside from the basics, um, some new styles from Teamwork even have the camo striping or the sublimated panels down the side, which are real popular this fall. Yeah, and you, you brought up a couple other important names there. Um, Allison is one I want to focus in on. Um, that's been somebody that's been strong in sort of the sporting goods, the brick-and-mortar mm -hmm. sporting goods shops for years. But as we see, you know, I guess traditional decorators, sort of all-purpose decorators, do embroidery, screen printing, sublimation. These applications, they're reaching out to the sports-specific suppliers. Um, in attempting to set up accounts um, to print on these and begin to serve that team and league business. Right. So, yeah, a few good suppliers there. So, um, you mentioned fully sublimated. I want to jump back to performance wear here in a second, but on the fully sublimated side, um, in addition to just the inserts, uh, we've documented it here a lot, we're starting to see all over sublimated uh, T-shirts and even team uniforms approaching. I think the right. Pirates wore them a couple games ago. How yeah. was watching, right? Right, yeah. So where, do, where does the decorator get those items? So there's, a, there's a lot of different places you can get them. The digital camo is one that's really popular for um, team some different teams. So, of course, we mentioned the Allison. We mentioned Teamwork Athletic. But um, Augusta Sportswear actually has a unique garment that um, gives you that digital camo look, but it's very easy to print because traditionally one of the issues with printing garments that are fully sublimated has always been dye migration. Mm. So um, they're actually printing it in a roll printing style. It's going to allow decorators to get that really cool um, digital camo look um, and a nice dry fit jersey. Yeah, so Augusta Sportswear, uh, I'm bringing up their selection now. I was on their homepage, but here's their uh, digital camo line. Um, I just did a keyword search for camo, and you can see what Courtney was mentioning, the inserts on the football jersey, um, and then the all-over, um, I tend to say sublimated just because that word kind of rolls off the tongue right. when you look at this, but these are really roller printed, um, so they, don't, they aren't as painful for bleeding and dye migration through lettering. Um, in addition to Augusta Sportswear, um, Badger Sportswear mm -hmm. is another uh, great source, so um, let's see if I can find their site here, Badger Sportswear. And you can see they're featuring some of the camo gar garments right on the home page as well. These are two of the core um, suppliers right. that are out there for not only team uniforms, but these fully sublimated items, performance wear in general, and even warm-ups. Mm -hmm. um, who else um, do we find when we look at performance wear? So performance wear, when we're looking at that, A4 is, is definitely one of the largest dealers when it comes to performance wear. They have a lot of dry fits, a lot of high compression stretch fabrics, um, and they're kind of always on the cutting edge of performance wear um, and, and items like that. Yeah, A4, um, they, you know, you, when you research A4 or read an industry magazine, I guess you can't miss A4. So right. a lot of people are very familiar with A4. Um, they're often known for their low price points. Um, so if you're looking for just an economy option on a performance fabric, A4 is a great solution. I'm not sure they get as deep as like Sanmar would in their sport tech line with garments that are guaranteed not to bleed or posi charge. But Nonetheless, uh, a quality supplier with a huge selection in performance and also into uh, team uniform items as well. Um, and when we talk, when we talk performance fabrics, it's important. You know, we're we're pointing out some specialty folks in the right. sports world, but the San Mars of the world, all of these other major wholesalers have their lines as well that, that are worth a hard look and, right. and they're vast lines at this point. Yeah, and they may offer something like Sanmar offers their Sport Tech line, which you referenced, which is their house brand for performance wear mm -hmm. um, and dry fits, but they also have Nike and different um, OGO, so different uh, premium brands that they distribute in the performance wear market. Good, good. So when I'm looking at a supplier like Sanmar, just to, I want to make sure that's clear to our viewing audience, um, a house brand versus a distributor brand. So. Um, a distributor brand would be like something where Sanmar um, resells like a Nike or an OGO or a Red Cap, whatever it might be, where it has an established brand and they're just basically carrying that through. Right. Um, when you start to dive into the house brands, these are lines that, you know, they're developing from scratch to meet the needs of a decorator in our industry specifically. So when you look at uh, like in t-shirts, Port Authority or their district line or district made line, depending on sort of what demographic or segment of the market, um, usually you can get a lot uh, more of a value price point uh, and better price points on those right. sorts of brands, right? That's definitely one of the benefits. Yeah, that's where you can get the case pricing and, right. and, and negotiate. Um, 
beyond that, and another, um, you know, Sandmar's been very supportive of Stahl's uh, TV. Another company that did a lot of education was Bomark Sportswear, who's actually the parent company is Augusta, which we've already right. talked about. Um, so what's Bomark's sort of unique approach to the market? What do they offer? Um, so Bomark offers, again, a lot of the team uniforms, but one unique thing that they offer that decorators can kind of um, get their hands on is their um, MLB line, so their products that are actually licensed, and then they can um, buy names and numbers and resell that garment just by personalizing the back of it. So that's one of the large opportunities with Bomark. Yeah, Bomark um, really serves that. Uh, they did a section for Stalls TV on team and league business. They really serve the embroider, the screen printer, who wants to reach um, the team uniform market. And so you're looking on the screen, the MLB jerseys you see. They actually supply these. Um, they have the license from Major League Baseball. They already print the front of the t-shirt or the jersey for you, and literally all you have to do is one application, customize the back with name and number, and these are tremendously popular. So don't want to spend all day on sports, right? Right. I tend to, to go there. Um, who else do we see as unique on the spirit wear side of things? Um, so spirit wear, we kind of got into it a little bit this morning talking about what we saw at the ISS show, but of course the oversized shirt is one that's really popular, and there's a couple of people that sell into the spirit wear market um, that are side from sports teams, but they're very trendy, very fashion forward. They may have some um, baseball jerseys, some fan jerseys that are really popular, which we covered a couple weeks ago. Um, and then the oversized jerseys, so the ones that have the shoulder to shoulder print are super popular. Um, Boxer Craft is probably one of the main ones that offer those garments um, in different styles. Yeah, so Boxer Craft's one, and then I, I think I speak for our viewers, but we want that once and for all full list of yeah. who offers these oversized shirts. We get this question all the time, where can I get that, where can I get right. that? Even on Ted Stahl's blog, you get, where can I buy that still? So we have Boxercraft. Um, summarize Boxercraft styles in these oversized shirts for us. So Boxercraft basically has three styles of the oversized shirt. Um, they have their traditional um, pom-pom jersey, which is the one that is your solid colors. Um, they also have some two-tone colors in that style. And then they just came out, um, their second style is the printed version of the pom-pom jersey, so it actually has a patterned bottom and a solid top. Okay. And then one that was really popular at the ISS show this weekend, um, probably because it was 100 degrees down there, yeah. is the Varsity Slub. So it's a really thin, lightweight, soft cotton um, type oversized shirt. It's very thin, so it works well for high temperatures. <laughs> okay. And then I have the Boxer Craft site just panning through those as we go through some of the, the other sources. You'll see the pom-pom jersey flash across here. You'll see the Varsity Slub a, a few slides later. Uh, but just keep your eyes on that. So other than Boxercraft, where else can I get these oversized shirts? Um, Pennant Sportswear is another one that's, um, a help, that's a helpful partner with Stalls TV. They offer solid colors as well as some cool two-tone two uh -huh. looks or tone-on-tone tone, um, with a pocket. They offer a more masculine style with a hood, so it allows you to create for more markets than just the female market, which, of course, Boxercraft is great for. Mm -hmm. Um, that's two, and then the other two that we're familiar with that we use here at the studio is um, J America. They have a game day jersey with solid shades, and Neon Tees also is very popular for a soft cotton um, option. Yeah, J America is kind of unique. They have, um, in addition to just the oversized shirts, they have a lot of cool stuff happening right. there. Uh, cool styles, cool fabrics. Um, I have their website up. It's kind of flipping through, and you get a quick glimpse on the left there of the glitter tee. Uh, this is something else, even a glitter hoodie that we're seeing in, in Spirit Wear is, came out maybe three, four years ago, but still uh, raging on from a sales standpoint. Yeah, and there's different options that are available. That one from J America has a silver threading that's actually through the garment. Okay. Pennant Sportswear offers those also. Um, and then we've recently seen one from Sanmar that has a gold glitter, um, and there's different styles from t-shirts to tank tops to hoodies like you're seeing on the J America sites. So there's a lot of options for being able to personalize these sparkle t-shirts for spirit wear. Okay, okay. So those are two of the hottest things in spirit wear. Um, we talked briefly about the fan jerseys. Um, anything else uh, suppliers noteworthy on the spirit wear side or things we should be looking for before we kind of move on to the next category? The only other thing that J America offers um, that I think is unique is just some of the distressed items. So okay. um, some of those Heather distressed looks that you're wanting for school apparel, that's something I think I would definitely note from that supplier. Okay. Okay, good. Um, so I'm just I'm glancing down at my notes to make sure we covered it all here. I think the only thing I missed on the sports or spirit section is sort of the high end of the performance wear, where okay. we start to get beyond the loose fit t-shirt and we start to talk about uh, base layer compression and the latest there. And actually, um, we'll pull up the site here. I have to um, type it in here. It's uh, MyoGrid. 
uh, .com is one of the latest brands that's out there in base layer compression. It's sort of like a second skin uh, sort of feel and look. And this is a brand that manufactures and is available from companies like Imprintables Warehouse right. um, through distribution. So we're seeing this compete more with the, the high-end Under Armour, the high-end um, Hyper Elite Nike uh, garments. But the cool thing about this is it's available to the embroiderer, to the screen printer, to the team sports dealer as well. Right. I see this being really popular for those um, decorators that are selling maybe to more elite teams like travel teams or those that are wanting that really elite compression look. They've got um, some breathability mesh panels down the side of these shirts. They've got a lot of um, high stretch in the compression fabric. So they're definitely something that's going to take um, your garments and your product offering to the next level for those teams. Yeah, I was talking to um, George, the guy that sort of uh, runs uh, MyoGrid there, and um, they utilize a process called circular knitting, which basically means you don't have the seams or anything that's going to cause chafing or make it feel bulky. It's, you know, claimed to be 50, 60 percent lighter than right. comparable garments. I mean, this stuff's nice. You've got to put it on uh, to really believe yeah. in MyoGrid. Okay, so let's move on. Um, Okay, so the, the opposite of a second skin is really something that's heavyweight and keeping you warm. And let's transition over into outerwear um, and jackets and those sorts of things. Uh, what suppliers do you know? Or tell us what you know about outerwear suppliers. So outerwear, of course, you can get them from a lot of the main suppliers. We um, had mentioned in the beginning the Alpha Broders, the Sandmar. But when it comes to really looking for specialty items and a robust offering, um, Charles River Apparel has been very popular okay. in offering wind jackets and rain gear and... Um, a lot of the high visibility safety stuff. So just some really unique, um, more higher end or more robust offering for outerwear. Good. And another one that sort of stands out that I think of immediately is uh, game sportswear, especially in the high visibility section and workwear. Right. Um, you know, the work jacket. So those are two good solutions. Um, also, I know the, the, stand, the core suppliers have expanded their outerwear line tremendously over the past few years because outerwear is perhaps the most profitable blank wearable uh, that you can be decorating and it's been cited as the most memorable uh, right. by uh, people that receive it as like a promotional product. They remember when they get that jacket, right? right? Yeah, I uh, think for years decorators have just been afraid to print those large expensive jackets that they're worried about. It's not like a $2 t-shirt they're worried about ruining a $40, $50 jacket, but you know, there's definitely ways to, to print that effectively with embroidery or heat printing or even screen printing. Okay, okay. So I got my coat on, I need my hat. All right, so <laughs> let's transition over to headwear. I know this is uh, a different order than we have on our list, but it seems to flow naturally, yeah. right? Um, so decorators can really profit from headwear in general. So I think if you haven't thought about decorating hats or headwear before, it's something to really consider for your business, whether you're a heat printer, a screen printer, an embroiderer. Um, this is an easy add on sale for people. So where can they look for styles of headwear? Right, so um, AutoCap is one that has a really robust offering for hats. So they have the flat bill style, they have five, six panel, they have camo hats. Um, so they have a whole range really, no matter what market you're trying to reach. If you're looking to print headwear for them, they have an offering there that's really popular. Um, Flex Fit's another one that's, that's got a, um, it's, it's a well-known name for being able to offer different hats and things like that. Yeah, so when you're looking at hats, there's a lot of different styles. So the first one, uh, sorry, I was a little late getting there, is auto cap. Um, you got to start to learn the lingo of hats, you know, five panel hats, six panel hats, depending on um, how you're decorating it. Uh, the flat bill caps um, is something that's just crazy right now. I mean, you can't imagine, uh, I guess maybe decorators can't <laughs> imagine, the popularity of this. And I was demoing this actually at the show in Orlando because we have a flat bill platen that we show on the, the heat presses. Yeah. And we flip the hats open. It's like a magnet for people. Right. I mean, they're all around. They want to know how to print these. Um, first, got to know where to source them. So AutoCap, FlexFit, both have flat bill options. Even Outdoor Cap is another mm -hmm. um, choice for flat bill caps. But um, I've had decorators that say, oh, I don't like those style of hats. Yeah. Well, I don't wear them either, <laughs> but I love them because the profit opportunity is ridiculous. So finding, even if you're not doing the front of a hat, maybe you're contracting that out to an embroiderer if you don't do it, just sourcing a hat that can be embroidered through contract printing and printed underneath is a tremendous opportunity for folks. Yeah, I think we'll see that a lot with the, especially when spring comes with the baseball teams and any of the sport teams that wear hats, um, being able to add that in for a new trendy item. Okay, so trendy um, caught my attention. <laughs> Let's talk about fashion forward pieces. So the person that wants to really um, reach Generation Z or the millennial or yeah. something just a little more fashion forward, even if it's for uh, the baby boomer, it doesn't really matter. 
Um, where do I look for fashion forward pieces? So there's a few, a few different suppliers that come to my mind. One that I really like is Next Level Apparel. Mm -hmm. um, they have um, some really unique garments for, especially if you're decorating for the kind of that millennial, that trendy teenager. Um, they have really soft cotton garments. They have crop tops. They have wide neck sweatshirts. They just have a really um, robust range of products for that trendy market. Even the colors of their garments are their neons, their heathers. They're just a really great fabric. They pop. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, they sent us some stuff in um, a few weeks back for our grand opening. I guess it's been probably a couple months back, maybe now. But um, time goes fast when you're having fun. <laughs> but it, they were extremely soft. Like, I was really impressed at how soft their garments felt and the variety of sort of necklines and styles they had, as you mentioned. Um, beyond that, one that's been around for a long time, uh, but still a lot of companies find success sourcing from, is American Apparel. Um, company out of California, they have a retail line, so the brand recognition's there for decorators, sort of like, not on the same scale as people relate to Under Armour when you're right. reselling it, but a bit, you can relate to American Apparel, it's a name people know, um, but have a lot of trendy styles available. Um, I'll take a second here and I'll pull up their website. Yeah, they have some unique, um, like baseball sh shirts, some um, uh, larger length shirts that are real trendy for the millennial generation, pairing with kind of like a legging or something like that. Okay, all right, so there's the American Apparel site. You can see they merchandise sort of the latest in trends on the, the front of their page, so it's always good to stay connected to them, um, not only for sourcing apparel, but to stay on trend with what's out there and what's the latest. And of course, they have a kid's line, a baby's line. It kind of goes men's, women's, everything. Um, and another one that's uh, really popular with American Apparel that I like is Alternative Apparel. And I brought up their site here for you. This is a place I go um, when I just want something different and unique and that stands out. Yeah, I think out. Alternative kind of says the name of what's different from, from what you're getting from your other suppliers. And that's definitely what they offer. Yeah, so that, that's another one. Um, just on the fashion forward stuff, the only one I have noted here. Um, and actually translates a little bit into the next category of youth styles is Cavio. Um, Cavio is very fashion forward in what they offer, um, traditionally aimed towards the female demographic, right. but they do the female demographic very well and that they do pretty much from adult all the way down to baby or youth styles. Right. And I think if you're selling to children's apparel and you're wanting some of that unique um, garments that have kind of the ruffles or the lace and some of that really fun stuff that you're seeing on children's apparel, that's where you're going to get it is from their website. Yeah, and so Cavio, um, and a story I always tell decorators as we're looking at their website here, is that if you want to offer the same style, let's say, uh, to a dance school or for team support, all the way down from the junior sizes um, that may be dancing at that school, clear down to the uh, size three, four, five, six, whatever it might be, you can do that all within one style range, which is very rare for a supplier to have something all the right. way through. Um, of course, Sanmar has been investing a lot of time. I keep saying Sanmar, but they're a really good supplier. We know them inside and out. Right. Um, they've been investing a lot into their youth line, so they have a lot of cool styles there, not only for uh, the female demographic, but just in their performance line for youth mm -hmm. um, is a hot growing category. Um, some other ones um, that stand out for youth styles, who do you got on your list? Um, LAT Apparel is one that is popular for me, just for when you're wanting to source a lot of infant apparel even. People always come to us wanting to know where do I get onesies and you know small items like that, and that's where I think they have a lot of um, products that fit into that category and into that product line. Yeah, and LAT, I first uh, became familiar with these folks. Um, actually got a couple garments from Impressions Magazine when we uh, did a design out of glitter for the cup cover because it's you know CPSI compliant you can use it on kids wear um, but they had some really cute style with ruffle sleeves or lace right. accents uh, whatever it might be so definitely worth uh, looking at LAT apparel and then the last one is uh, Pima apparel um, that I want to point out it's just PIMA apparel and the, the cool thing about them is once again they carry all the different styles as well but I just found them this year at ISS Long Beach and picked up their catalog but a lot of trendy stuff uh, for kids, specifically for the female demographic once again. Right. All right. Do we cover it all yet? I think we're just about there. The last topic we had was just fleece specialties. So before we um, conclude this section, I think we should talk a little bit about fleece because people always want to know, where do I source those types of garments? So what are we looking at for suppliers for those specialties? Yeah. I mean, one of my favorites, it's a Pennsylvania company, has always been independent trading. Um, they carry a variety of weights of fleece. Um, when you get into a specific style, they have a very huge uh, color offering. Mm -hmm. um, so I kind of like them because you can be pretty diverse and you look to them as sort of the specialty supplier. If I want fleece, I know where to go. They have right. a ton of styles for men, women, uh, youth, you name it, you can get it independent trading. 
Um, anybody else on your list for fleece? Uh, Baymar was the other one, only one I offered um, additionally to that. They offer a lot of uh, different kind of just fleece zip-ups and sweatshirts and unique items like that. Okay, so I'm working to get their website to populate here. Um, they do all kinds of styles of garments, but you're right. They're, they're noticeably um, focused on fleece and particularly burnout styles like you see here or hooded sweatshirts. When you go by their booth at a trade show, you see about 50 styles right. of hooded sweatshirts in different colorways. So I'm pretty sure that says we have your color right. um, if you need it. So that's a great um, solution. And, and then lastly, speaking of a full color, for those of you um, coming looking for items to sublimate, I'll just point out uh, most of these suppliers have sublimation specific blanks. You can't just purchase a white polyester and expect to sublimate it. Right. It needs to be tested and designed for sublimation. And if you're looking for a company to do just that, Vapor Apparel is one of those companies that has a pretty wide range of garments designed specifically to sublimate on, which I'm sure we'll cover right. at some point uh, in the future at Stalls TV Classes how to do exactly yeah. just that. Uh, we've talked a lot. We've given you a lot of choices. There's many more than this. We're just scratching the surface, but hopefully we're starting to give you an idea of places you can get specific garments or styles or items to grow your sales. And now you need a sales strategy because you can't just put all of this on the right. table in front of a customer. <laughs> so we're going to turn it over to our specialist from Sanmar, Holly Rocks, in this previously recorded segment of Good, Better, Best to give you some ideas. When deciding on what staples to bring into your shop, it's important for you to understand who your client base is. There's no reason to stock a number of wovens or outerwear if you rarely present them to your customer. What is important is once you understand your customer base is to provide a good, better, best selection for them uh, so that they have an opportunity to choose and you have an opportunity to save your margin. Let me explain what I mean when I talk about good, better, and best. An item that falls into the good category is really value priced for that budget driven customer. It may not have all of the features that the customer is looking for, but it certainly will be falling under that dollar value that they've asked. A product that falls into the better category is really that kind of that slam dunk piece. This probably would have been the piece that you would have presented fits all of the requirements the customer's looking for, has the colors they need, the performance features they need, and really is right there within budget. A product that fits into the best category is really the best product our industry has to offer. It will have elevated features that the customer may not have even asked for, and it will usually consist of a retail or a branded piece. The benefit of offering a good, better, best situation is it allows you to protect your margin. When I mentioned that better option, and that's the one that you would actually start with with a customer, very often the customer sees that piece, knows that it fits everything they're looking for, but may ask for a little bit less in the price. Instead, you have two options there. You can either offer that piece discounted and lose a little bit of your margin, or now you've got a good piece to go back to. This way the customer sees the value in that price difference and is able to make the choice based on the features that they need and whether the dollar value fits that. In the best category, it's always nice to offer an elevated piece. Again, customers may not even be thinking that that's something they need until a specific retail brand or a performance feature piques their interest and it may actually get you a higher price sale. So we want to thank Holly again uh, for coming in and helping us with the Stalls TV uh, classes. And if you visit stallstv.com, there's a complete Apparel 101 section on the website where you can watch that video again and learn right. more just about Blank Apparel. Now, as, as you know, this is a live interactive session and we have some questions coming in that we want to speak to. Um, so first, Evelyn, thanks for the compliments about us looking <laughs> good after working, uh, how hard we worked in Orlando this weekend. Um, we always enjoy going and meeting folks that have watched Stalls TV. Right. And I don't know about you, I had a, plenty of comments about people watching the morning show in Stalls yeah, TV. Yeah, I did in as general. well. And then there was a question from Lou specifically about uh, sizing of shirts for ladies' garments. And the best advice that I can give for that is everybody's size chart um, is a little bit different, but 
I'd say 99% of blank apparel providers that you visit their website, they will have a size chart for that specific garment. It will call out all those important details, whether they fit large or small. You'll see it specifically there in the dimensions and measurements. Um, one last question uh, was where the Transfer Express folks working the show, the ladies got their shirts. I'm going to have to do some research there. I didn't see them specifically, but we'll make sure we get back to you uh, with an answer. So be sure to follow the Stalls TV blog to get the links for all these apparel wholesalers. And what are we talking about next week? What are so you talking week, about? So next week, we kind of scratched the surface a little bit this week. So we got some, um, some points already pointed out, but we're going to talk a lot about outerwear. So it's that time of year where we're going to start to need jackets, windbreakers, warm, uh, warm weather jackets. So we're going to talk about different styles, different trends we're seeing, and then also how to print them. So different tips and tricks for doing that successfully. And that'll be you and Zach, correct? It will be, yeah. So I get uh, another week off, right, other yep. than Labor Day. So uh, looking forward to that. Thanks for watching the Stalls TV Morning Show, giving you the buzz, news, and know-how at the frequency you need it.